Hey guys, how's it going? It is General Heat here, as always. Uh, it's, you know, barely ever changes. But today, uh, I'm going to be tackling um, the question of whether you can kill the heretic leader early, or at the very least, if you could stop him from getting to his banshee. And of course, what would happen if you did any of that. So as you know, at this part of the mission, the Arbiter, uh, the heretic leader gets into his banshee, and you can't get to him just yet. And then once the door opens, you're supposed to into one of the other two banshees there and then follow him around and well try to find him actually now there's a speed run to actually fly straight to where um this banshee is supposed to land and then you could skip the rest of the mission but technically you're supposed to fly around and search for him with the help of uh the phantom tartarus's phantom now using um blue trainer we could just click to the store and see what happens uh if we, uh, well, first let's see where he flies to. And actually, even though I clipped through that uh, window there, it actually is possible to clip through without uh, the use of mods or trainers. There is a glitch on the original Xbox version of Halo 2, from what I understand, that lets you clip right through. Uh, but I don't actually know it. Um, so if anybody you know can find a video of uh, that tutorial, then feel free to post in the comments and I'll be sure to pin it uh, so that. People who want to try this out can do it without the use of mods on Halo 2 PC or Xbox. But for uh, to make this simple, I did use the uh, blue trainer mod, or um, yeah, the trainer to clip through and test this out. But as you can see, when he flies away, he just disappears. So let's try to knock his banshee off and see what happens. And as you can see, after he finishes his little speech, the other elites will start attacking me, but he will not go for his banshee anymore. He'll just pretty much stand there. And yeah, he won't do anything. So that is what happens if you prevent him from getting to his banshee. He is unfortunately invincible, but don't worry. We'll, I'll tackle that in a little bit. But for now, just stop him from getting his banshee. He uh, just stands there and he's invincible. And if I get into another banshee, it seems like I am able to finish the rest of the mission still. Um, if I fly over here, and actually this is the speed run I was talking about. Once you get into Banshee, if you just fly straight over here, his Banshee will be right here. Uh, and you can just, uh, if you're fast enough, you can get right into that door and load the uh, cutscene. Or if you just really quickly clean up the grunts there, then you also get to finish the mission without having to do the whole uh, searching for him part. So just a little uh, tip there. Anyway, so, yeah, you can prevent him from getting this Banshee, and you can finish the mission. Of course, that actually doesn't affect the game at all. You'll still load the next mission, where you'll still have to chase him down, and then eventually have to boss fight against him. But, for now, this is what uh, happens. And, like I said, I couldn't kill him with the Energy Sword, uh, and let me show you what happens if you knock him off the edge of the map. Uh, if you'll survive the fall through... Well, if you'll survive the fall in general, and if you'll survive all the death barriers on the way down. So, let me just uh, get him to position, and then get ready to knock him down. Alright, so, let's give him a nice, good push with the Banshee. And, as you can see, he survives the fall timers. Uh, and, pretty much, he survives the entire fall. Uh, and, yeah, so, unfortunately... For now, like I said, for now, make sure to st stick around. I'll be sure to tackle this fully in a little bit. But as you can see, just simply pushing him off at this point, he uh, he won't die. He'll survive all the fall timers, all the death barriers. Uh, he'll drop all the way to the very bottom of the map. Um, I mean, you can probably hear him like constantly. I'm not sure if you can hear him over my talking, but you can hear him constantly screaming on the way down over and over again on repeat. But he won't die no matter what. Now, that doesn't mean you can't actually kill him early still. Uh, I assured you to, with the title that I will be tackling whether you can kill him early. And without further ado, I will show you a way to actually kill him early. And that just depends on your timing here. It's the same thing, just clip through the window. And as you can see, he's still invincible. Just wait till he gets into his banshee and then quickly hijack him while he gets into his banshee. And as you can see, he dies right there. Now there's a death barrier here as well, and I died from flying too low, but I'm going to avoid that death barrier this time, and still knock him out the Banshee at just the right time. 
you have to uh, do it before the uh, loading point so you gotta do like right right now basically before it fully loads everything else and as you can see he'll die uh, and you know there's a there's a death barrier there then that's how you know it worked now, fortunately we got a checkpoint this time so I won't have to do that again we'll just revert to this point but yeah so that's how you kill the heretic leader uh, early before the next mission that's the only way to do it I mean yeah you could I could technically mod him to make him not invincible I think but that'd be cheating so this is the only way and like I said it's possible with glitches to get right through but just for simplicity here and just because I don't know the way to click through the door uh, I just simply modded it using the blue uh, using blue trainer on Halo 2 PC to just clip right through the window so that we could test this out quickly but yeah that's the uh, only way to kill him and as a little bonus you do get the heretic leader's personal banshee uh, I know it spawns later at the very end of the mission but it's not the same this is his original one the other one that spawns is just like a clone I guess because as you saw at the beginning of the video when he flies away his banshee just disappears this is the one before it disappears so if you ever wanted to fly his personal banshee then there you go now there's not really anything special about it it's just the ordinary heretic banshee but you know it's the sentimental value that counts I guess but you know that being said um, now of course in order to finish the mission you do need to fly back and switch to another banshee which would activate some kind of loading point that allows the rest of the mission to be finished and then you can get back into his personal banshee uh, and now you can finish the mission and the other banshee will be here but yeah so you can in fact not only stop him from getting to his banshee but you can also kill him early and if you do both of them either one you can still finish the mission of course ultimately it has no effect on the game because the next mission you know that won't carry over and you'll still have to fight him and chase him down but you know it's just a cool thing you could do uh, it, and if it's something they've been wondering for a while hopefully that answers your questions so yeah I hope you guys did enjoy that uh, and if you did you know as always make sure to leave a like and leave your thoughts in the comments of course and uh, if you haven't already make sure to subscribe and I'll see you guys next time